Today, we're gonna check out the new episode of Classroom of the Elite. And I just wanna see where everything's going, especially with Karuizawa? Yeah, I wanna know what's going on with her how she's gonna get through this and what Ayana Koji is realizing at the end of that second episode. And also I wanna see the game progress a little bit more. So with that said, let's jump into it. Logo reveal. But before we do, most of you are not subscribed to the channel, so support the content if you enjoy it and join the community if you haven't already. And you can find the full link as well as exclusives over on Patreon. <laughs> it would be so cool if Ayana Koji just comes out of there and just starts beating the shit out of them. That would be so wild. I know it won't happen, but it would be cool. That's why I told you to wait, bro. Perhaps I'll try it. Oh, try what? Some crazy shit's about to go down. I'm kind of hyped for this. Add to the pieces under his control. Very, very interesting. You got played, bro. You got played by the dude. I don't understand why she didn't just apologize. It makes you weak to apologize for doing something wrong? Well, I guess they might have taken advantage of her for- Okay, eh. Ooh. A look into her past? It doesn't even look- Bro, she sounds like she's hyperventilating. Her chest, no movement. She's gotta be fucking breathing through her stomach or something, dude. Ouch. Bro, she's wild, bro. I would have just, I would have started swinging on every one of them, bro. Oh my God. Come on, do it. Break. Have your Joker moment. It's time. They're like bullying this girl into this too. She's liking this more and more. Oh my god, she's crazy. Ayana Koji, come on, brother! Help! I want revenge on Karuizawa as well. I'll help you. Oh. Go down there and beat the shit out of him. It would be so cool. Oh, or not. Never mind. Damn. Oh, shit. Psych, you're not slapping shit. You just got the shit slapped out of you for, uh, for a fucking hour, dude. You're not going to slap shit right now. Mm. No. That's not what he wants. Well, maybe yes, but not like in the way that you mean. Whoa. No. Ayana Koji. Ayana Koji. I think he meant it more in the way of like, he wants her to do what he says. That's it. See, I think he's just trying to get into her mind. He ain't trying to get into her pants, you know, well, or her pantsu. Scar. There it is. Mm. This is actually kind of cool. But now you are indebted to him. Do what he tells you. Oh? Oh, yeah, well, Horikita doesn't, you know, people don't really like her like that, so. Oh. The VIP. Right? Right? She's the VIP. Oh, I want to buy a glizzy, bro. I'm gonna about to start busting our shots on motherfuckers. 
No, he's not gonna buy a gun. Come on, dude. Yeah, I want to discuss how the fuck you so rich on them personal points. Can somebody fill me in? Well, I, I don't want you to spoil. I don't, okay, okay. I didn't mean like you guys fill me in. I mean like with the inf I want them to tell me, not you, okay? That means there can only be one. Oh, she closed though. Yeah, he did. I want to pry though. Let me pry. Can I pry? I want to know how the fuck you did it. How the fuck you got so many fucking points? She needs 20,000. Oh, she's going to flip. She going to flip to D because there's nobody in class B that is of any sort of like anything. We don't give a shit about anybody in class B. There's nobody notable in class B except for her. So she's definitely flipping. We're gonna kill off each person until we find out who it is. What? Maybe he was prepared for this and she is the VIP and she's gonna use a fake email? Ooh. I love how calm Ayana Koji is at all times. He's always just... Ooh. Did she think it was? Hmm. Bro, your screen's black. You're lying. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> but it's not actually him. It's actually our girl. It's fake, right? I knew it. <laughs> and Class A's fucking themselves over right now. Let's go. Dude, he's scamming. Now they're really going to think it's him, but really it's actually our girl. Ooh, she a little schemer. A little class B, a little schemer, bro. <gasps> so unexpected, bro. I said this like last episode that she was the one. SIM card? Ah, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. What is it? What happened? Okay. These are special test results. Each class receives the following point changes. Class A minus 200. Good. Class B no change. Class C plus 100. Wow. Class D plus 50. Ah. Oh. So the Mars group trader was mistaken. Oh, I'm wondering what's up with these other ones. All participants achieve correct answer after testing. Okay. Ah, three corrects here. Wow. Ah, two mistaken, three corrects. And then this one where everyone got correct on the earth group. And there were two where the identity was never found. Or maybe you do. Dude, this guy's fucking cringe. Oh, weirdo. Weird. Uh oh. All right. Good episode, man. Good episode. We got to see the end of the game. I'm really surprised that the game was so quick, but also not that surprised. I knew that Karuizawa was the one. I knew she was a VIP. We already knew that Kushida was a VIP as well. 
So the results of it all is that class A goes down 200, which is huge. That's like the, the main goal is to bring down class A, but they also don't want anybody else to go up. Class B does not move, no change. So no, no positive, no negative, net neutral, which is fine for them. They're okay with that because they see that A goes down. They basically get closer to, to class A, which is good for them. Class C goes up a hundred, gets two correct, right? They either get two correct or they cause one mistake and get one right, whatever it is. And then finally class D, obviously the Mars group, the one that Ayana Koji was in, got somebody to fuck it all up and they're the plus 50. So yeah, pretty interesting how it all played out. But a, a big focus of this was Karuizawa being bullied, right? Followed up the last episode, finishing out that thing, but then she gets played, put in another position to be bullied. And the person that plays her is our boy Ayana Koji because he needs to push her to her limit. She's really defensive, right? But if he can get her to a point where she's willing to open up her trust to him, then you know, things can work well. He's also got to get the evidence to help her, you know, the evidence of her getting bullied. So she has to get bullied in order for him to get that evidence. And they go off on her. They're like literally beating shit out of her. He recorded the whole thing. So that evidence exists now. And now whenever they try that shit, she's gonna be like, yeah, uh, <laughs> recording. I knew you motherfuckers were gonna do this. And now you're really, really screwed over if you do something. So they're gonna have to stop bullying her. Yeah, she's just in a more powerful position and it's all because Ayana Koji wants her to help him. Yes, in a way, like it is her body that he's after, but not like in like a sexual way. It's more like her entire being is what he's after. He wants to be able to use her. He wants to add her to his chess pieces. So that way he can make those plays and put her in a position that benefits class D because his end goal now is to get class D to that position of A. He wants to just win. I'm, I'm interested in seeing what exactly the results of this whole thing are. Like we know the results, right? Minus 200, no change, plus 100, plus 50, okay? But beyond that, personal points, the way that the classes will react, we've seen how the class C leader reacts. We've seen how the class D leader reacts and the actual leader, like how Horikita reacts and then how Ayana Koji reacts. So even Ayana Koji is kind of taken back by it. He didn't expect that to happen. He didn't expect them to go up 100, but he did know that Buddy was like Ryuji, Ryujin, something like that. I think that's his name, something like that. Ryuin, I don't know. Um, but him, he knew that he was up to some shit, trying to figure out the formula, more or less. That, that moment where Ayana Koji is talking with freaking personal points girl, she, it's basically saying that she wants to get these 20 million points so that way she can switch classes. And the class she's gonna wanna switch to is Ayana Koji's class because Ayana Koji just proves that he's smart. He has a plan and then she's like, this is your plan. And he's like, ah, so you had the same plan. And she's like, yeah, two peas in a pod. Both kind of in sync here, you know, Justin Timberlake, we're both in sync. Or was that, is that the Bass Street Boys? I, you know what? I never knew the difference between them. I thought they were the same group. I don't know. With that said, I want to know what you all thought about this episode down in the comments below. How do you feel about personal points and maybe this goal of switching classes? Do you think it'll be D that she wants to switch to? Or maybe A, maybe she wants to just jump to whoever's on top. I doubt it though. I think that she really is seeing Ayana Koji as this mastermind, even though she's always like, and it was Horikita that came up with it. He's like, yeah, I mean like, who the fuck else can do it? Uh, I find it funny. Yeah, but um, that, what do you think about the results of the game? And then obviously class C performing well, class A performing poorly. And let me know down in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.